The life of this world is made up of three days. Yesterday is gone with all that was done. Tomorrow, you may never reach. But today is for you so do what you should do today. To learn a single topic of knowledge and teach it to a Muslim is more beloved to me than having the whole world and giving it in the cause of Allah. There is no backbiting in the case of a person of innovation or a person who openly commits sins. Stay away from the busying aspects of life, and surely, life has abundant busying aspects. How strange it is that person whose departure from this world to the next has been announced, and whose predecessors have already departed, still plays around. This life is good for the believer. He works little, he is moderate in performing acts of worship, and takes enough provisions with him to paradise. The believer does the best deeds yet is most fearful that his deeds will not be accepted. If he were to spend a mountain of wealth in charity, he would not feel sure of the reward until he sees it. The more righteous and pious he becomes, the more he fears. But the hypocrite, Munifik, says, There are so many people, I will be forgiven, no problem. So he does wrong and evil deeds, yet holds foolish wishes about Allah. This life is bad for the disbeliever and the hypocrite, for he wastes his nights in it, and the only provisions he collects from it is being directed to the fire. By Allah, anyone among mankind who earns abundance in his life but does not feel afraid that he is being tried and tested then his deeds will decrease and his opinion will become obsolete. May Allah have mercy on the man who works for the likes of this day, for today you are able to do what these brothers of yours, the residents of these graves, cannot do. So make full use of your health and free time before the day of distress and accounts comes upon you. Do not sit with an adherent of bid'ah for he will cause a disease in your heart. The best attribute a believer can have is forgiveness. He among mankind who will receive the least reckoning on the day of judgment is he who reckons his own self in the life of the world for Allah's sake. He who contemplate his intentions and actions, if whatever he has intended is for Allah's sake, he persists in it, otherwise he refrains from doing it. Verily, reckoning on the day of judgment becomes heavy for those who were hasty in this life and did not hold themselves accountable. The intelligent person's tongue is behind his heart. When he wants to speak, he first thinks. If his words will be in his favor, he says them and if they will be against him, he does not speak. And the ignorant person's heart is behind his tongue. When he merely thinks of saying something, he says it, whether it is for or against him.